If he goes further and rapes a person, a child, an indigent, indigent means a weak person, he commits a capital offense and he faces the maximum sentence of death. This is the law I signed. These are the three substantive points and homosexuality law. Before I conclude and talk about the planned legislative agenda for the coming session of Parliament, I cannot avoid commenting on the noise about the anti-homosexuality law that you, you enacted and I signed recently. My stand on homosexuality has been repeatedly laid out to all and sundry. It starts with a few questions. Why does somebody become a homosexual? Is it on account of genetic, hormonal, or psychological reasons? Discussions with our doctors and the other African doctors who had a conference with African members of parliament from 22 countries unequivocally led us to conclude that homosexuality is as a result of psychological disorientation at some point in one's life, not genetic and not hormonal, as some of us initially thought. This conclusion that homosexuality is a psychological disorientation gives us a way forward, logically, reasonably, without bias, without what? If somebody is a victim of psychological disorientation, do you criminalize him or her on account of that? Is it logical or fair to do so? The answer is no. Instead, such a person needs assistance to, if possible, overcome his psychological disorientation. I'm glad the MPs agreed with me and clarified this point in the law. Therefore, those who say that the homosexuals will be arrested if they go for medical care, ETC, are wrong. The law now says that a homosexual will not be criminalized for merely being so if he or she keeps the being to oneself. What then does the law fight? It fights this homosexual when he or she goes from merely being and starts recruiting other people who are not psychologically disoriented like him or her to be like him by misinforming or bribing them. There, he becomes a criminal and if convicted, goes to prison for a period not exceeding 20 years. If he goes further and rapes a person, a child, an indigent, indigent means a weak person, he commits a capital offense and he faces the maximum sentence of death. This is the law I signed. These are the three substantive points. Being is your personal problem. Merely being a homosexual that you find you are disoriented, you, you don't like the ones you should like, you like the ones you shouldn't like. Uh -huh. Being is your personal problem. Promoting is criminal and qualifies you for prison. Raping qualifies you for a possible death sentence. So you people, when you are arguing with these people, go for the substance. Don't be diverted to these other 
Additionally, in Uganda, sex is confidential, even, even heterosexual sex. Therefore, if a homosexual keeps his, his being to himself or confidentially seeks assistance from the doctors or priests, it will not offend this law. I have told our MPs that if there are still some illogicalities in the law, such as forcing employers to know who is a homosexual in the company, or landlords to know which tenants are homosexuals, we shall work to amend them and keep the substance. We should go for the substance, not these other, uh, because I have heard some people talking about that. But I will, I will call our MPs and we talk about it. Therefore, doctors and other health workers, providers, should assist those patients who come to them bearing the three substantive points in mind. I will arrange a dedicated broadcast on this issue toward the end of, of June. I will, I will give a whole broadcast on this issue. Now, finally, you're about to be saved from me. I wish to end this address by thanking Parliament for enacting the following legislation during the last session. Out of the 62 bills presented to Parliament on the last State of the Nation address in June 2022, the following bills were introduced and passed. The Companies Bill 2022, the Insolvency Amendment Bill 2022, the Law Revision Bill 2022, the Museum and Monuments Bill 2022, the Physical Activity and Sports Bill 2022, the Anti-Terrorism Amendment Bill 2022, the Small Arms, those, those were, they, they are all here. The following five were introduced by government in addition to the 62. I think the speaker had also spoken about those. Now, there are these bills which are ready for second reading, the Employment Bill, the Competition Bill, the Public Service Pension Fund Bill. The following reports as highlighted in the set of the National Legislative Agenda of June 2022 were, were processed and, and adopted. They are also listed here. Madam Speaker, it is now my pleasure to declare the third session of the 11th Parliament open. I thank you, I thank you very much and hope that the coming session will be uh, fruitful. I thank you.